in this video, I'll show you a simple method to upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11, whether you have a supported or unsupported hardware. In this method I'm about to show you, you don't even need a USB or an external drive. Let me show you how. Let's get started by clicking on the Windows icon. Then from the suggestions, click on the disk management. Here, we'll create a virtual hard drive or VHD to use for installing Windows 11 instead of a USB drive. In the disk management, click on action menu, then select create VHD. Click on browse, then click on this PC, select local disk C and click open. Enter VHD as the file name and click on save. In the virtual hard disk size selection, select at least 4 GB or more. I'm going to select 18 GB. Keep the virtual hard disk format as VHD and click on OK. Within few seconds, you'll see a new disk has been generated. Now we need to right click on it and select initialize disk. Choose GPT and click on OK. Now right click on the unallocated space and select no simple volume. Next, next, and next. Rename the volume label as VHDX and finally click on next and finish. We have completed the first step. Now let's close the disk management and open file explorer. Go to this PC and you'll find a new disk which is currently empty. We'll create this disk as a bootable drive for installing the latest version of Windows 11. Next, we need to download and install Rufus, a free tool to create our bootable drive for installing Windows 11. Let's open your browser and search for Rufus. Click on the first link from the result and let's scroll down to find Rufus latest version. Click on this link to download it. And once it's downloaded, open the downloaded file and double click on it. And allow Rufus to check for the application updates. Once Rufus open, you should see this dashboard. In the top device section, it will automatically detect the virtual hard disk we created. If it doesn't show up, click on the drop down and select it. Next, in the boot section, it asks for the ISO image. If you have the latest version of Windows 11 ISO, select it here. If you don't have it, click on the drop down select download and click download again. A pop-up will appear asking you for the version, just select Windows 11 and click on continue. Then it will ask you for the release version, make sure to select the latest version, which is 23H2 and click continue. Choose your Windows 11 version and click on continue. For language, make sure to select the same language as your current operating system. Click continue, for the architect, select x64 and then click on download. It will ask you where to save the ISO file. Choose any location and click on save. And the download will begin. Wait until the ISO is finally downloaded. Now, if you prefer to download the Windows ISO from the official Microsoft site, let's launch your browser and go to this link, which I provided in the descriptions. Scroll down to the download Windows 11 disk image from the drop down box, choose Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO and click on download now. Then select the language and click confirm and the download should start. All right, now you can see that the Windows 11 ISO has been downloaded. It will automatically show up in the boot section. And here you don't have to make any more changes, but if you want, you can change the volume label, for example, to Win 11 and then click on start. And on this window, it's really important to make the right selection, especially for those installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware or not meeting the system requirements. Make sure to select all the options to bypass the 4 GB RAM, secure boot and TPM checks. This will also remove the requirement for Microsoft account and create a local account. In this box provided, type your desired username. In my example, I'm just going to type techwise then click on OK. You will see this warning message saying that all the data will be wiped out. 
just click OK and the process will start. It won't take much time, so just wait until it's completed. And now you can see that it says the status is ready and it only took few seconds. Once it's done, you can click on close. Now open the file explorer and you'll find a virtual hard disk you created has now turned into a bootable USB. Double click on it and you'll see the setup option. Double click on that, then click yes to open the Windows 11 setup page. First click on change how setup downloads update, select not right now and click next. It will check your PC and bypass all requirements. So you don't have to worry and click accept. It will say ready to install and it will install Windows 11 while keeping all your personal files and applications. Now, if you want to make any changes like deleting everything and starting fresh or keeping only personal files, select the appropriate option here. Then click next and install. The installation of Windows 11 will start and it won't take much time. Kindly wait until the installation is complete. Once the steps are completed, you can see Windows 11 has been installed and it's the latest version. If you click on the Windows search and type WinVER and hit enter, you'll see it says Windows 11 version 23H2 OS build 22631.2861 and that should be the latest version. Now open File Explorer and let's go to this PC. You'll notice that the virtual disk has disappeared. However, you still need to go to the C drive, find the VHD file, right click on it and choose delete. You can also delete the ISO file saved in the document section to free up some space on your drive. Now you're good to go and you can enjoy the latest version of Windows 11. If you're not satisfied with the new Windows 11 and you want to go back to Windows 10, no problem. Right click on the Windows icon, click on settings, then go to the Windows update. From the left hand menu, scroll down and click on advanced option, then select recovery options. Here, you'll find the option to go back. It says if this version isn't working, try going back to Windows 10. Click on go back, answer a few questions, and it will prepare you to revert back to Windows 10. And that's how easy it is to upgrade to Windows 11. If this worked for you, please make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye for now.